Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I'm going to show you how to create and how to disable and enable multi-measure rests in your score. So, for those of you who are wondering, well, what happened? I used to be able to do that by pressing M. It has changed in MuseScore 4.4 so that now it's Control Shift M. So if that's all you're looking for, Great, there you go. But for those of you who aren't really sure what I even mean by multi-measure rest or want a little more context, a little more information, this video is for the rest of you. The rest of the video is for you. So, um, multi-measure rests are a thing that happens when we when we look at the individual parts for uh, a piece of music. If there's an extended passage of several measures or more where a given instrument isn't playing, then sometimes instead of seeing all these individual empty measures, it's nice to just see a bar that says you're going to rest for a while with a number over it that says you're going to rest three measures or whatever it is. MuseScore creates these for you automatically when you generate the parts. So if I come over here to the parts dialog and say I want to open all, you'll see, uh, for instance, here's a bassoon part and there's a, a five there telling me it's going to rest for five measures there. If I click on one of the flute parts here, uh, you'll see there's a three measure rest here. There's a six measure rest there. So MuseScore creates these automatically. And that's all great. But if you want to say edit now this part here and you want to have just the individual empty measures back because you, you want to work with this uh, part here, you can press that shortcut I mentioned, Control Shift M, and now all those empty measures are turned back into individual empty measures. And now you can enter some more notes into them. I can enter, for instance, uh, a C here, whatever you want. And now press Control Shift M again. And where possible, it will combine and form multi-measure S. And where it no longer makes sense, then it's not going to happen anymore. So MuseScore handles all of that automatically. Control Shift M is what will toggle them on and off. You might be wondering, well, why did it change if it used to be M? Well, to be honest, what would happen is people would accidentally enable multi-measure rests in their score. So they would be turned off like they are now, um, and they would go to enter some notes and go to press the N key on their keyboard for note input mode and miss and accidentally hit the M key and get these multi-measure rests and people wouldn't even know what they were and they say hey what is this thing my score is ruined what's going on I can't fix it help uh, and we got a surprising number of those sorts of complaints over the years and finally someone said you know what multi-measure rests aren't that important to be able to turn on and off with a single keystroke because they get generated for you automatically when you generate parts you really don't need to turn them on and off manually very often so let's maybe make it just a little less easy to accidentally turn on so control shift m is now the shortcut instead of just plain m if you really want to have m back you can have it you go to edit preferences i think on mac the preferences is under your application menu and then shortcuts and then you can type multi into the search box here. You'll see toggle multi-measure rest here. Click define, and then you can press the shortcut you want, like say just plain M or whatever else you want it to be. And then you would click save if you want to update that shortcut. So uh, that's a little bit about uh, how to create and then how to enable and disable uh, multi-measure rest at any time using that keyboard shortcut Control Shift. M.